I always see telling people, young people. Now, 20th century become like a century of bloodshed, including nuclear weapon, using nuclear so what's today. So, uh, according to some historian, in that century, over 200 million human beings killed through violence. So if that violence really solved some important problem and brought world safer, happier, peaceful, then maybe uh, also, I mean, what was it do? So some, 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 some reasons, but justify. But that also failed. So now this century, only now 10 years passed, 90 years yet to come. So this century should be century of dialogue. Because, you see, problem always there. We human beings, we sort of smart brain and some desire and, and some concept of we and they, some way you see remain there, the problem always remain. Always, I know, always possible, create problem. So we must find ways and means to deal with this problem, not using force, but using reasons and respect, dialogue. Uh, so therefore, uh, this century should be century of dialogue. So now, youth, my generation, I think you also, I think, my generation. <laughs> And among the audience also is some, you I don't know. No. <laughs> you see, person who above 60. Now, our generation belongs to 20th century. Are we ready to say goodbye? <laughs> now you blow 30, 40. You are the generation of this century. So now whether this century simply repeating previous century, bloodshed, bloodshed, bloodshed. Or this century, new peaceful, full of cooperation, with trust, with sort of spirit of really brotherhood, sisterhood. Uh, or in other words, I think go fundamental level. Then we all same human being. Different nationalities, different races, different faith or whether believer or non-believer, doesn't matter, these are secondary. The important is we are human beings. So, uh, think more about the fundamental level. The secondary differences are secondary. I think many past problems, we forgetting fundamental hum same human being, but we too much concern about secondary importance rather than because of that. Of the, whether national nations or races or what should they, faith, these things. So now, please, you, youth, please think more wider way, more holistic way, and you should, uh, you should not take conclusion out of just one dimension seeing. You must look three dimensions, four dimension, six dimension, uh, very objectively. Then you can see the reality. Unless you get the full picture of the reality, all your activities, your method, your approach become unrealistic. Any unrealistic sort of method fail to bring result. We, in order to carry a realistic approach, we must know the reality. So don't rely on politicians, politicians' word, or don't rely on religious leaders' word. You yourself investigate with calm mind. Then you will see the reality. Then you start your action through that way. Don't believe, don't rely on noble Hazara. Uh, no, no, noble Laureate's word. You yourself investigate. That's important. <laughs>